Jean Dale Bray's life. Hi, my name is Macy and I'm 13. And I am going to be telling you about Jean's life. Jean Dale Bray was born on January 7, 1528, in Saint-Germain-en-Laye, France. Her mother and father were Marguerite of Valois and Henry II of Navarre. While growing up, her mother educated her in Normandy. When she was 15, she was used as a marital pawn by Henry III to help his interests. She was forced to marry Germany's Duke of Cleves, but during the ceremony, she had to be carried to the altar. She would not go. She also struggled to get free from the grasp of the person who carried her. Soon after the marriage, she ran away. After several years, Jean got married again, but this time out of love. Her husband was Antoine de Bourbon. During their son's childhood, they fought over which religion he would grow up with, and Tween had betrayed her by joining the Catholic army and threatening to divorce her. And Tween betrayed her. Jean joined the Protestant cause. Instead of being a Protestant, she became a leader of the Huguenots. Because she joined the Protestant side, she had to flee from Navarre to La Rochelle. Jean got saved sometime before he died. She was saved by Theodore Beza. Soon after Antoine's death, she announced that she had become a Huguenot. Jean Dale Brace had poor health all her life. While she was coming back from a shopping spree, she collapsed in the middle of the market. Her enemies and friends thought she was invincible, but she laid in bed for four days with increasing pain. While laying in bed, Jean said, O oh God, my Father, deliver me from this body of death and from the miseries of life, that I may commit no further offenses against thee, and that I may enjoy the facility thou hast promised me. Jean died on June 9th, 1572. Created using Powtoon.